Hi everyone, this is my review of the Costco um, MD Sports Basketball Station. Um, right now at Costco, I believe it's $125. Uh, the boys got this one for Christmas. It's uh, super fun for what it is. Assembly was a bear. Um, I'm very good at assembling items. Um, built the entire house we're in right now. Um, and this is definitely a two person job just because when you're assembling these pieces, so you have this U shape right here, you then have to bolt in the verticals and they're just flying all over the place. You have to have an assistant holding things for you. Um, also the, uh, stay locked nuts that are on there, they have that little washer in there. So it's almost impossible to get it off. They were also ridiculous to get on. You definitely want to have a, uh, socket set to be able to put it on or a socket attachment on your drill uh, using the tools that they provided would definitely kill your hands. And honestly, I couldn't even get it done uh, with that. So construction, powder coated steel tubing, um, very light overall. The uh, fabric on here is holding up pretty good so far. We've had it about a week and the boys have been playing with it nonstop. Also not much scuffing on the board itself up there. The uh, scoring mechanism is a plastic, so we'll see how that holds up over time. Um, it is not obviously a full regulation set. It's a small ball, um, plasticky. I'd give the overall rating of the quality of this unit maybe like an eight out of 10. Um, one of my complaints is that it's not a power cord. It is a battery pack only. The scoreboard in the back has room for four AA batteries. Um, to me, it's in your house. It's not going anywhere. I'm not taking this on the road. So I much would have rather had a uh, power cable to power this rather than swapping out batteries every few months. Um, it's about seven feet tall um, at its highest point. So, you have the scoreboard system controller down here. Uh, power, play, select up and select down. Um, this is also kind of a negative point on this unit is it has built-in games, but in order for you to be able to do them, you really need to look at the included manual, this sheet in particular, to know what each one of the games are. So game one is beat the clock, game two, three point beat the clock battle back, et cetera. So you actually have to have this out in order to be able to select your games and know what you're selecting. Um, so that's a negative. So we're gonna hold the start button. Notice the uh, clock starting up there. So it's asking me what game I'd like to play. Game one, game two, game three. Again, this is where you would uh, go to your manual. So I hit the play button for game one. And this is gonna be one player or two. Uh, we're going to be a one player, hit start, and then it's asking me how long, 30 seconds, 45, 65. Uh, you only have those three options. So you'd select the player one, 30 second. It starts counting down. Um, I do say that even when you crank it right in the middle of the red square, oftentimes it wants to come out. I'm shooting while I'm looking through the video camera, so don't mock me. <laughs> All right, so we got it in. Let you know how much you scored. Um, if two people are playing at the same time, it's pretty good. Um, the next feature on this guy, well, let's hold the power button and it will turn it off. Next feature is it folding up. Um, obviously this is a huge game that uh, right now I have in the middle of the floor. We haven't figured out exactly where we want to put it. We have these cotter pins right here that you would just pull out. So you pull out the pin on the one side, walk around, pull out the pin on the other side. This then enables you to be able to lift up the unit. Um, I could do this with a pinky pretty much. Very easy. Now, when it's up, 
it wants to fall back down. If I let go, it wants to fall. So what you then have to do is come back down and replace the cotter pin again into the tube. If you don't do that, it will fall back down. So, now we're looking at hmm, four foot in depth, whereas before it was about seven feet, I'd say. Um, not so bad. It's still definitely a huge unit. If you're in an apartment, you're not going to have this. Um, this is definitely basement, garage, or a pretty large game room. But if you have the space, it's pretty fun. Now, I have... 10 foot ceilings in my basement. And as you can see with the ducting, we're about a foot away from the duct. So again, definitely make sure this unit will fit in your home before you go out and purchase it. Definitely is fun. Again, I'd give it, you know, seven and a half, eight out of 10. Uh, for the money, it was pretty good. Um, and it looks like it's gonna hold up for quite a while.